We just got one of our first clips for Transformers The Last Night. I'm going to treat this as a trailer breakdown, so I'm going to let you guys know what I thought, what I found, maybe some theories in there. Let's get started. The clip starts out with, uh, you know, Anthony Hopkins looking out over the landscape and he sees Bumblebee, Cade Yeager, and Cogsman walking up to, you know, visit him, I guess. My question is, why aren't they just riding in Bumblebee? Why doesn't Bumblebee just transform into a car and they just drive? Be so much faster. And the tank that's with Anthony Hopkins' character just shoots at them. And I, I like how he's like, what's the matter with you? We have guests. And we don't see his transformation, but suddenly he's just in robot mode. And my problem with this is he's, he sounds like and he behaves like Jetfire from Revenge of the Fallen. And he even says, my bits are falling off. Kind of like what Jetfire said, itchy, rusted, wretched, my ass. We also get a confirmation, at least to this point in the movie, that Bumblebee will still be talking through the radio. And my hope is that they end up fixing that. We did kind of get a hint at that in one of the last trailers that we got. I didn't point that out, but it is something that I noticed, that it looks like uh, Cade is repairing Bumblebee's voice box. And hopefully, eventually, he'll get to be able to talk normally like he did at the end of the first Transformers and just kind of like reverted back to speak through the radio. So basically, Anthony Hopkins says, you know, my, my Transformer buddy over here still thinks it's in 1940s. And uh, Cogsman does this little twitch thing. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, but what Cave Yeager says is like, what did you drag me to this, some Transformers retirement home? And I, I, I like that. It's a joke that's lost to a clip. But it's not in the trailers, so I mean, not many people, I mean, a lot of people will still watch this clip, but it's not like it's being shown in theaters. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty funny. I do have to say, though, I hate that Anthony Hopkins says the word dude. Um, it's just misplaced, you know, Anthony Hopkins, Sir Anthony Hopkins, you shouldn't be saying that. And here we get our first real look at Hot Rod, and... His car mode looks insane. I mean, we've already pretty much seen his car mode, but we also get to see his transformation, and it looks pretty cool. We got to see part of it in his his motion poster, which was kind of cool, um, but there's more to talk about this character in a minute. So Hot Rod transforms, and Laura Haddock's character, Vivian Wembley, kind of tumbles out, and she's freaking out. Uh, she's swinging a golf club, and it's kind of funny. Um, but the sound that Hot Rod makes when he transforms sounds an awful lot like Bumblebee. And obviously we've read and I've heard that, you know, Hot Rod is Bumblebee's brother in arms. So it's only natural for him to be just like Bumblebee. Uh, but then he speaks and he has an Irish or Scottish accent. And uh, he sounds a little too much like Billy Connolly. Uh, I love his voice, but for a Transformer, I don't think it quite works. Uh, you know, I don't know. Hot Rod just should have, like, a really cool, deep voice. Um, maybe not like Optimus, but more like, uh, Jazz or Ironhide or something like that. Uh, not, not the voice that he currently has. At first, I thought he was speaking through the radio like Bumblebee, and I was like, oh, no, they can't do that again. But, uh, you know, I'm... Still excited. It's still kind of cool. And I'll see what they do with him. But uh, I have a feeling he's going to be a one-off character. He's only going to appear in this movie and then he's going to be done. I hope not, but I have a feeling that's how it's going to be. We also hear a line from Katie Yeager saying, you know, is this a kidnapping or is this her first Transformers experience? And he's like, well, it's both, really. Uh, Anthony Hopkins' character says that. And it's kind of interesting, you know. And I like the fact that they're talking kind of like a normal person would talk in that situation. And not just, you know, how writers would have people talk. And that's what I appreciate about this scene. So that's the clip, guys. Uh, there's a little bit of a trailer after it, but it's all scenes that we've seen. Except for this one little tiny addition to the scene of Bumblebee attacking Optimus with the hammer. He actually lands the hit on Optimus's head, so it's like maybe that was the point that jars Optimus back into being Optimus Prime again. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much all I got for this. 
clip breakdown. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of Hot Rod's voice and this whole scene. Uh, I'm still excited for this movie. I still think it's going to be pretty, the, probably the best Transformers movie, I hope. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of when we upload new content. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.